There's Cadbury Hill Fort over there. I've been up there today, I've done all that up there. I've been right up there, and up there other than that field at the top there will be your seat. Another landmark under my belt. There's somewhere called Kingswood, she was, one woman was telling me though, where there's been a lot of um, people with guns and beer trapping the deer up there. She said um, she doesn't like that very much where they ambush them and that. She said that was a couple of years ago. She said it was, she didn't find it a pleasant walk seeing cartridges lying around knowing animals were being killed. Um, they would kettle the deer or something and no one seemed to stop them and they they really don't like the general public going there or something somebody coming on their bike I'll turn the camera away when they come by there's the church again over there St Mary the Virgin like I said that's where Dave Coley's got some family from around here. He's got family from Yatton and uh, yeah he's got family from this area. The cows are all well penned. I haven't had to have any adrenaline. <laughs> yeah Dave, Dave Coley's more Somerset than me in some ways. I've got to go back a long way to find mine. I'm the original Somerset girl. Me and my two sisters, Margaret and Jude, from this part of the millennium. The, you know, yeah, apparently there are walks all over the place here. There's the church again through there. I know that it isn't too far to walk. I, mean, I don't know where the bus stop will be, but I'm going on that, um, <clears throat> it's not the A38, it's that, I don't think it's the A38, anyway, it's, um, I don't know if it is or not, no, oh I don't really know what road it is, it could be the A38, I'm not sure, look at all those big cows, look, that looks like a beef herd, that's steak there, yeah, I wouldn't want to go near them. No way. But it is lovely out here. I mean, in a way, walking it. Obviously, what I do, I have my camera on the bike when I go along. But walking it, it's a bit of a... It's an achievable thing if you do it in stages. Like, I'm not doing the whole thing today. I've already done a lot of walking. I'll, I will now say I've done the Yatton to Congressbury bit. Then I can do Congressbury to Sanford and maybe Winscombe. You know, there are walks that you can do. Um, it's like I was talking to someone, it's better to do it in the week. I mean, at the weekends, this is chocker block with cyclists, runners, and lots of children learning to ride their bike, which is fair enough. Yeah, I'm aiming for over there somewhere. I said I climbed all that earlier today, went through a part of a wood. Went through part of a wood there. And then obviously I, w I went up it, walked all round the top of it, came back down through it, went into Yatton because I wanted to go and have a quick look at the church because I don't think I'd actually been in the church before. I can't remember being in it. It didn't seem familiar. Although it is a long time ago I would have done it. Well not long, long, not too long ago but over the, in the last six years that I've actually done Yatton Church on the inside. I do like to go around them again. I mean there will be one walk. I don't really like part of it because it's um, this it's a very busy road. There's one part I'm going to do from Yatton, walk to Clevedon and get the bus back from Clevedon. Um, 
that's another walk I'm going to do because I can return to places that I haven't done for a while. Well, I've still got energy left because I've noticed the difference um, over the last three years how I've slowed up quite a lot. Yeah, significantly slowed I have. But of course I've put on weight. In 10 years I've put on three stone in 10 years. Easy. Well, two to three stone, put it that way. Ahead of me, of course, the you've got you're leading up to Row Barrow and all that ahead of me, and the Mendips. I've done all those hills ahead of me. Yeah, I've done them all. Yeah, this is a nice, nice little ploddy walk. I can see why runners come out here and do it. I probably would have used this for training for the London Marathon if it had been, if I'd been down this way in those days. So there we go. All the time, there's Cadbury Hill, and um, it's sort of keeping guard in a way. If you think about it, it's. Uh, Good. It looks higher now. I, re I wondered if that was Cadbury Hill. I always thought it was further over. But thinking about it now, and I've been on Row Barrow Hill for it, and I look over, yeah, you can see it. It's obviously lower down than the ones up on the Mendips. Something's going on. I can hear lots of. Of course, the motorway's over there somewhere, you see. Lots of sirens. Must have been a crash. One good thing they've got, they, they have got benches located quite frequently along here. So it's nice to be able to sit down and have a little rest. I'm going to do that in a minute. But I'm going to do it now, I think. Um, so I just want to stop here and take a picture of the hill from this angle. So I'm going to stop at that bench there. Over and out. <laughs> 